Welcome to Project Arrowhead. I am your host, Jim Sackwoods, joined as always by JPO, Patrick James O'Grady. What's up, buddy? Not much, man. What's going on with you? Ah, uh, you know, that's SDD. And just a reminder that Project Arrowhead is brought to you by the Lansdowne Pub. Southeastern Connecticut's number one nightlife spot located inside the beautiful Mohegan Sun. Great food, daily specials, and live entertainment starting on Thursday night with karaoke starring James Patrick O'Grady. Yes. Friday night from 6 to 9, we have the acoustical act of Kevin Howard. Saturday night, lands down. We'll be rocking with the guys you see on the screen right now. Wicked Peach from 10 to 1 a.m. Always a good show with Wicked Peach. And then on Sundays, every Sunday, traditional Irish music with the Clan O'Cleary, Steve Cleary. That is the Lansdowne Pub located in the Mohegan Sun. Great place. Yeah, no, I, I, I heard the, I heard the karaoke guy is pretty good too. Yeah, he's pretty pretty awesome. <laughs> kind of cute. Oh, oh my you god! Know. I'm just putting that out there. Jim. Really? That's also happening this week. The largest music festival on the East Coast, Ocean Beach Park Polka Days. That will be from June 19th through the 22nd, located at Ocean Beach Park in New London, Connecticut. You can buy your tickets that day, or if you buy them in advance, there is no cost to get into the beach. And once again, that is the Ocean Beach Park Ocean Beach Park Polka Days. Polka. Sorry, it's first day with the new list. Poker Days. You definitely want to go check that out. <laughs> it's it's going to be amazing. It's I mean, 12 of the top bands. And uh, also coming up, we have a public ghost investigation with Crossing the Veil Paranormal Society. Snow Bruno and her team at the Drunken Pallet located in New London. And that is Saturday, June 29th, 2019. The There's three time slots, 6 to 7.30, 8 to 9.30, and 10 to 11.30. And uh, there's two tiers of investigation, $30 for a basic investigation and $40 for an extended investigation. There is an uh, abandoned upstairs apartment that's pretty creepy and uh, it's hard to get to. You actually got to climb a ladder to get up there. And uh, once again, Drunken Pallet, State Street, New London, Connecticut, Saturday, June 29th. Be part of the investigation with Crossing the Veil Paranormal Society. So, I hear through the grapevine that there's something you want to talk about. Are you, are you talking to me? I'm talking to you. You're talking yeah. to me? I'm talking to you. Um, no, I just, uh, we were talking about hickeys a little while ago, and so I just wanted to get people's perspective on it. And um, so what, what were you saying, Jim, about that? You said that you do not like hickeys? No, basically what I said is if you're between the ages of 13 and 18, then, um, okay, I can see having a hickey. But if you're over the age of 18, it's probably not a good look. Now, why isn't it a good look? It's, it's just not a good look. Why? That's it? Well, That's all why, you got? Why? Uh, all right. You got somebody coming into work, and they're sitting there, and they're covered with hickeys. Are you telling me that's a good look? I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Other than the fact that it could give you a blood clot, go to your brain, and kill you. Um, but, <laughs> I mean, I, I, what is the purpose of it? Okay, all right, great. Yeah, you're in a relationship. Do you need hickeys to show that? Why? Why do you need a hickey? That's some valid points over there. Yeah, no, well, I'm, we, I'm, no, I'm seriously say, asking why. What is the purpose of it? I don't know. I think they're just fun to do. And you're right, though. Yeah. I mean, it's kiddish. And we did get some feedback on Facebook already. It was a hot topic. And I actually am trying to pull up my Facebook right now so you guys can see the, you can see the feedback. But now it's not because my computer's freezing. Although, overall, though, I mean, there's some people that were in for hickeys, and then there were some people that were against hickeys. 
I mean, I'm not for or against it. Like, I don't really care about it too much. It's just a topic that came up recently when I was discussing with people. And I just wanted to see people's input on it. That's pretty much it. I mean, yes, I don't Randy. Randy, I have heard of the sun, and um, it's it's a lot of the camera. I don't know why it's making James look like he's been out in the sun all day, and that I look like a ghost. Because uh, I've been out there. <laughs> I've been out there hustling. It is definitely the the. We started our camera. paranormal activity uh, investigation right now. You're a ghost, Jim. You're not here anymore. I died a week ago. Dude. Hey, can you add me some hair on there? <laughs> no, it is. We're going to have to change these cameras. Ladies and gentlemen, we are like, going to superimpose some hair on James Patrick O'Grady. Forget Rogaine. Because you are like getting like a bad, bad shot of me over here. A bad shot. All right, so once again, why... Keep messing up everything. <laughs> once again... Randy says the hickeys are only us. worth it if they're in one spot. What, hickeys or dead people? Hickeys. Oh, okay. He said the only word hey, there. There we go. I don't look so much like a ghost oh, anymore. Oh, I get what he's saying. He's being dirty. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah. Why are we talking about hickeys? What's what brought this? I don't this? know. There was just a conversation that happened the other day, and then I posted on Facebook, and then I saw a bunch of people. But now that I think about it, nobody has a real reasonable reason for hickeys. <laughs> you know. I don't. I was thinking no. if somebody didn't want to get a hickey, say so. Say your girlfriend over there doesn't want a hickey from you. Like, how does that make you feel? Like, you want to give her a hickey, but you don't give her a hickey. Like, what are you thinking? Obviously, the negatives. You know, people may think that you're ashamed of being together or whatnot. I think that's what it really comes down to, and that's what these people are feeling. It's green you're wearing, it's thrown it off. Did you make it? Is he looking better over there? All right. So, if you ask the younger people about hickeys it's all right you got a girlfriend you're not gonna put a ring on her so if they see that this girl's got a hickey all right then in 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 their mind now we're talking adolescence that's their way of showing that she's taken she has a girlfriend so on and so forth <laughs> randy says maybe you and keith should demonstrate how a hickey is made <laughs> Randy, if you got some buffalo um, in the name mozzarella of sticks over there, uh, if you got some mozzarella buffalo sticks, we can make that happen, Randy. Still waiting on mine. Uh, I had some the other day. Yeah? Yeah, Randy made some for us. Man. Man, oh man. I want them. We rate. I think Anna said that she's trying it too. What the? Yeah, she was there. Yeah. I don't know. I'm always missing out on the free food. It was horrible. So I got some, some of the comments that I got. I put, why are hickeys shameful? And Nicole, she said skin cancer, which I don't even know. Wow, that's even relevant. Can Is I that even connected? That one. No. I had to Google that, no. and I was like, I, I guess there's a lot of myths. One said, uh, because we are not vampires, what is a sexual desire? I just don't get it. I feel like people do it to show ownership. Like when we were teenagers, laugh out loud. I hate them, as you can tell. I also don't care enough to say anything to anyone. Not my business. And that's just my opinion. Another one. This one is in favor of hickeys. It says, comes down more to minding your own business, to be honest. Laugh out. If you go out of your way to point shade at someone because they have a hickey on their own neck, maybe you're the problem, not them. So that's kind of how I feel about that situation. One other person said... Well, well hold on. I, Sarah's... Sarah's comment here is kind of... What did she say? It, if they want to give you one to mark you, that's childish, which is pretty much what most people do. Yeah. Nothing wrong with hickeys. Just cover her and keep it classy. Cover you with hickeys? No, I think she meant like... Do it where it's not on the next... Or where it's not visible, I guess? She, it says, just cover me and keep it classy. Mm. Sounds like invitation. <laughs> I, I, Jim, are you going to cover? Oh, wait a minute. Hickeys? Okay, no. <laughs> what did she say? Now it popped an M. So it's just cover them. Oh, there and you go. Are black eyes caused by hickeys? No, those are caused by people getting hit in the eye. Oh, was that Randy again? That was Randy, yeah. Oh, no, that's abusive relationship, man. If you need someone, give us a call. 
Eight six zero six two six five one nine three. We'll save you. The Just only once. the only proven um, medical issue that can occur with a hickey is you could cause a blood clot. Yeah, but that's so rare. Rare. It's got to be like a huge hickey. <laughs> Sarah said she hates those delays. Oh, uh, yeah, that was kind of interesting. Yeah, Sarah. So, once again. We know you want to be covered with hickeys. It's cool. Just want to throw it out there again because it's coming up soon. Saturday, June 29th, the public investigation with Crossing the Veil Paranormal Society. It's going to be a good time. It's for a good cause. It's at the Drunken Palette on State Street in New London. And Snow and her team do an amazing job. So if, if you have it off, if you have the chance, go check it out. Um, it, it's going to be a really good time. You will not be disappointed. Oh. And you'll probably get a hickey there, too. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you just go? We just, we James had a, we doesn't, had a topic James and, and doesn't get hickeys because of his crooked glasses. <laughs> Thank you. I know that. Is that Randy, too? He's on fire. No, today. it's Steve. Oh, Steve. Oh. Now it's the camera's crooked over here, and it's showing my my baldness. You know, we need to get, um, Keith, we need to get my hair on point. Do we have, like, a green screen for that? Wear a hat. Like, come on, man. If I wear a hat, I'm going to lose more hair. You guys are unfair to me. That is a freaking myth unfair. also. That's not a myth. It's a myth. You're bald, and you're wearing a hat, Jim. You're worse than me right now. I'm bald because I shaved my head. Okay. Maybe I should shave my head and say I'm bald because I shaved my head, not because I'm go. missing all my hair. You look good, actually. You look really good. You got a melon head. You know? Sarah, there you go. Snow does a really good job. You know job. what they it's say about be, big heads. It's going to be very entertaining. All right. Maybe so. I'll go to that. I think I got the night off. It, it's going to be a good time. James, so, you got now, the perfect head to go bald. Why is he talking? He's talking. Cut it out. Exactly. I could have said so much dirty stuff right there, but right. we're good. We're good. The only thing haunting that place will be the horrendous paintings. <laughs> I, oh, I have actually. Was that Randy been, again? That's Randy. He's got the zingers over here. Yep. Damn, Randy. Damn. Damn. Absolutely. And speaking of Randy, once again, if you missed the beginning. Project Arrowhead is brought to you by Southeastern Connecticut's number one nightlife spot, the Lansdowne Pub, located inside the Mohegan Sun. Great food, daily specials, and live entertainment. Live. And head chef Randy Tillett has a great special every day, and you'd, you'd never know it's something different every day, and uh, it, it's amazing. James looks like a hair toe with glasses. <laughs> oh my god. Is that Randy? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <Jesus>. Hairy toe. <laughs> you see? You see what you guys did to me here? It's Steve. Well, Steve is going to get fired from his job because I'm going to call him up and complain. Where's he work? I don't know where he works, but he ain't going to work anywhere. Hold on. I'm going to look him up right now. That's Barfield, right? Yeah. I can't. I can't even look him up. I'm happy. I'm lucky I'm even on this site right here. <laughs> we should just insult me all day. Why don't we just do that? That could be a show of insults. Let's go, guys. Let's hear it. Give me your best insult. Insult. Make sure you put your address to it when you do it. Randy says, stop using my Christian name. Randy, Randy, uh, Randy. Randy, what should we call you? Dandy. Chef. We call him Chef. Chef. Chef, Chef. Randy. Shuff. All right, well, that's it, man. That's all we had. That's all we had planned. You guys ruined it. <laughs> I had some funny comments I was going to read, but now we got an hour and 16 minutes to fill up. Go ahead. Keep keep reading some of your... Good. No, it's too late. If you tilt your head, it fixes the problem. There you go. <laughs> well, thank you. It's all right, though. The camera is tilting. It's all right. I'm comfortable with my body. It's sexy, yeah. so whatever. Whatever. All right, Jim, what do you got over there, man? Because I'm running out of sh stuff to say. You almost dropped. Off you, you, almost, you almost said shit. 
<laughs> We're broadcasting live on FM radio. I'm trying to get you guys radio. on public access TV, but every radio. show you manage to drop one word that we can't broadcast radio. on there. No, you can say that. Be on, on. You can say that on TV. I'm, on public access TV. You say bitch zoom. Oh my God, you guys! Yep. <laughs> I'm just saying. I looked it up. They you have can, that on ABC. Did yeah. you not watch? I forgot what show it was, but they said the B word. Bananas. A B word. What's a B with an itch? Can you just say sugar, honey, and iced tea? No. No. Shiza? So it's supposed to be raining this whole week? Uh, apparently, yeah. What's some shit? Some schnit. There you go, schnit. It's, it's not nice, man. I hate the weather. As long as it doesn't rain on July 13th, we'll be good. We'll be good. Why? What's that? Uh, that's uh, my festival. Uh, and that put, like, what would that be? 200 hours in. What would that be? No, nah, I'll, I'll, I'll shout it out later. Man, I really do look really bald, though. Look at that. Here we go. Gross. So Barfield said he was going to straighten out my glasses, but he has not done it yet. He's not done it. Shout out to uh, Morgan over there listening to us. Bananas. B A N A N A S. Holler this back. This is banana. <laughs> Lint liquor. All right. Ooh. So, what is that newspaper with all the weird stuff like aliens, Mary the president, and. The day? The, the day. New, the New Lennon day. Really? The Inquirer? Um, it's not the Inquirer. I can't remember what it is. Uh, what is it? Yeah, the choir or um, huh? I don't know. This yeah. guy is selling three hundred DVDs online, though. Three hundred DVDs? How much? Um, a dollar a piece. I got DVDs four for a dollar. If anybody wants them, four DVDs for a dollar. You cannot beat that. This guy is selling them for two dollars a piece. Like what? Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. Oh, Morgan hollered at us. She said, you suck, Jim, and I'm number one. Yeah, I, I know Morgan's not on then. She, she just texted me. She just said, you're number one, Jim sucks. And I'm just like, yeah. And she said, I got more hair than you. We should have a hair contest and see who can grow the hair faster. I'll shave my head. So, <laughs> here's an interesting article. You, re you ready for this one? This, 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 this is an actual article, and it says, Don't tell me you've never wondered what Yoda's penis looks like. Probably green. We got a phone call, and Keith's not even here doing his job. Keith. Hello, you on the air? Yes. Hello. This is Dr. Jefferson with the Downtown Clinic. Oh, yeah? How you doing? The reason I'm calling is because we had a patient come in a few days ago that requested... Oh, why are you cutting off? Diseases, ...and the test results came back positive for chlamydia. It's oh, standard practice for shit. us to obtain a list of past sexual partners who've been in contact with the patient Man. at the time of infection to inform them that they may be possibly infected with the same sexually transmitted disease. This, this is one of those prank call things. That was you. No, was it really? Yeah. I thought that was I a real it was guy. Real. However, we do urge you to go to a local clinic to get tested as soon as possible. James, you need to go get tested. Nah, you guys are horrible people. I think that phone call is for you. Unfortunately, Probably. that's all the information we can disclose. Have a good day. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. You guys are dicks. <laughs> Harry, can we, Harry, can we Harry. say dick? I already said dick, so fuck. Okay, I didn't know what you called. Oh, my God. So fudgicles. James. I said fudgicles. No, you did not. I said fudgicles. You said the D word. What, dicks? Ugh. Dick is a good name, man. He's my neighbor. I don't know why Dick would be calling like that, though. Tell him never to talk to us on the radio like that. Uh, okay. I, I, what? What uh, do you got over there? So you were talking about that storyline, but then you didn't. No, because we had a phone call. Yeah, yeah, if you want to consider that a phone call, somebody somebody being an idiot. And a jerk. They're too scared to call and actually use their voice to talk to us, which is kind of pathetic. Here we go. This is the world's most reliable news. Oh. Hello, you're on the air. 
Hello. Can't afford your health insurance or high deductibles? Do you have pre-existing conditions? Wow. He's really got to get off of that, uh, get on that no-call list. What's right. gonna, what's, who's going to call us next? Santa Claus? <sighs> Why would Santa Claus call us? I don't, I don't know. Could be next. Uh, my phone is dying. I'm at 5%. Keith, give me a charger. It's right what, there. What is it, an apple? No, never mind. We're good. Okay, here we go. The Weekly World News, the nation's number one source of news. Article number one, how to properly sell your soul to the devil. What? How do you sell it? All right, glad you asked. (laughs) Here we go. Step number one, set up the deal properly. There's a right and a wrong way to make contact with the devil. The right way is to be alone in your room, close your eyes, and say, Satan, I summon you. I have a quality soul to sell if the price is right. It may take dozens, even hundreds of tries, but at all costs, avoid sounding desperate or needy. It'll show up eventually. (laughs) Okay, that's step number one. Number two, deal from a position of power. By far the biggest mistake people make is to underestimate how badly Satan wants their soul. (laughs) It's like a precious gold to him, and he'll pay anything to get it. When he appears, get him to make the first offer. Then up it. Makes sense. That's that's Donald Trump uh, negotiations. And then remember, get the absolute best. Remember, you're going to have to burn in hell forever, so no matter how bad off you are, demand the best. For instance, even if you feel unlovable and desperate with loneliness, don't just say, I want the most gorgeous woman on earth, and I want her to be madly in love with me. Instead, add, in fact, throw in a hundred other women as well so I can pick and choose according to my mood. (laughs) That makes sense also. If you can get anything, why not make it happen? Would you sell your soul, Jim? And what no. would you? What would you? Well, okay. Say you would. What would you sell your soul for? What? And that's the actual question right here. What would you sell your soul for? Power, money, love, or revenge? Um. I don't know. I would never sell my soul, but if I had to pick one of them, revenge. You're sick, man. I don't know. Why would you pick revenge when you could have love or what was the other one? Money? Okay. I would go for love. Uh, that's already? the only thing you can like. I don't know. I would sacrifice my soul for love. No. <coughs> that's it. Jim, you said you'd do it for revenge. So if anybody out there has any problems with Jim, he's about to sell his soul so he can get at you. Like Kendrick, he probably owes you money too, right? No, Kendrick does not owe me money. Um, and the, the, I don't know. You're never going to see the money from Kendrick. It's just not going to happen. So, all right. So we do have a public service warning. Um, three giant alien spaceships are heading for Earth, and scientists predict that the new ships will arrive in December. UFO encounters continue to increase, as documented on WWN. And today, scientists at SETI search for extraterrestrial intelligence. An independent, non-commercial organization made an announcement. Three giant spaceships are headed towards Earth. The large one of them is 200 miles wide. The other two are slightly smaller. At present, the objects are just moving past Jupiter. I thought they were circling Uranus, but... Uh, mm-hmm. Judging by their speed, they should be on Earth by October. It just said December. Um, three similar giant spaceships landed in China and the Indonesian Sea. In November of 2011, they were identified as alien spaceships from planet Gutan. <laughs> three more giant Gutan ships are headed here for December. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Whoa. 
That's pretty interesting. Whoever comes up with this stuff is pretty... How large is giant when referenced to outer space? Exactly, Randy. I, That's pretty giant. These hey, in other news, President Trump threatens to deport millions of people beginning next week. But is that real news? Who knows? Where are you getting these ridiculous <laughs> stories from? Who knows? It says... Well, he's on Channel 3. He's giving real news. He said... <laughs> no, this is Channel Fake. It's all fake news, Jim. It's eyewitness news, Channel 3, WFSB. Yeah, why are you going to shout it out a, like that? I got an article. Uh, because I'm giving the World News Daily ridiculous I know. articles, and, I just and you're giving real, real ones. Some real news. Yeah, I've there. got the latest Did you see that yet? It just posted up. Oh. He's using it as a campaign tactic. I got the latest from Whale's Tale 2. Oh, yeah. What is going on with them? Whale's Tale 2 hopes this latest rumor is not true, but there's a very strong rumor going around regarding fairly recent New London Public School administrator that has had little discovery from the past. As a rumor goes, the individual who came outside of New London has previously circulated some nude photos, not necessarily to underage people, but nude never, never less, nonetheless. This pretty common knowledge story is also known to the leadership in our central office where eventually some seem to be quiet on the matter. Do you know how to read, Keith? <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> Whale's Tale 2 realizes consenting adults can trade photos all they want, but I am not sure that this is the <laughs> right person to, to have around our kids. <laughs> I don't have my glasses, jerk. <laughs> In today's news, <laughs> Keith doesn't know how to read. I know how to read. I just can't see. <laughs> Where's that bat? <laughs> Is that it, Keith? So apparently some some people in our public schools are circulating uh, nude photos, according to Whale's Tale 2, that it's possibly a rumor. Mm, yeah, I'm sure it's probably real, it's though. It's from a news source called Whale's Tale 2. Yeah, have you actually been on their Facebook page? It's pretty There's funny. There's something else. They usually announce stuff before it actually becomes like a real thing in the newspaper. Like, they know stuff. So there's a bunch of snitches, pretty much, <laughs> in, the, in the city of New London who go out and just post up a bunch of information and they snitch on people. They're like, and they're then like, like, like two weeks later, the then two weeks later, it's in the, all the newspapers that it was all real. It's pretty interesting if you haven't watched their Facebook. And then you see, like, cops on there. They're, like, fighting about it, and then they just post like pictures of the cops, making them look funny and stuff. It's pretty interesting. You really never seen that that page? Yep. Wait, Whale's Tale Two. Yeah. Whale's Tale Two. Yeah. No, I've never seen Whale's look Tale One. On I've never seen Whale's Tale no, Two. No, it's just Whale Tale. Whale's Whale Tale. And whale, I'm surprised they haven't been too. shut down yet. Have they been shut down like temporary before? Uh, I'm not too sure. I think because I know a lot of like the political people do not like that Facebook page. Because they talk a lot of a lot of stuff. Well, a lot of stuff they say ends is up real being too. true. It ends up being yeah. true. That's even crazier. But that topic that you just brought up, I'm sure is probably. Um, I'm sure it probably is true though. Because didn't they just arrest like a bunch of kids? Or I mean, excuse me, didn't they uh, arrest staff. a bunch of teachers and staff and so? Oh yeah, yeah. It's a big mess up at the high school. I just don't know how. These people get into these places. I gotta find it's called lack of background check. Do they not do? Is like lying detector tests? Are they not like standard for everything? Uh, like I feel like I would do that for everybody. No, you only have to do a, ba uh, a uh, polygraph test for a federal job. Really? They don't make you do it for other stuff. I would though. Mm -hmm. Why? Why not? I think that would make the perfect sense. Because polygraph tests are not accurate. They can be. Um, you, you can fool the machine, so why would you do it? No, but I mean, if it was a surprise, you show up for the interview and then you got to take this test real quick and you're like, what? Like, I'm surprised places don't do that. We have to do drug tests and you already know that you have to do them and you know when you have to do it. So, Keith, are you okay over there? What the hell is he doing? <laughs> He's still trying to read. <laughs> <laughs> Your time is over, Keith. Oh, yeah, he thinks uh, it's funny that my glasses are crooked. They've been crooked for like six years. I don't even care. Yo, they found the Bat Boy. They what? They found the Bat Boy. 
Didn't they? Was he inside my uh, apartment? Because nope. I had a bat there a couple weeks ago. Uh, they discovered the bat boy hiding in a West Virginia cave in 1992. They did not know that a star had just fallen from the damp cavern. The WWN followed Bat Boy as he fled local authorities, even the FBI. They trailed him as he took cops on a three-state chase in a stolen Mini Cooper. So apparently the Bat Boy can't fly. Half boy, half bat. Or he can do shit. With recognition in hit TV shows like American Dad and The Simpsons and several books, Bat Boy has become an icon. He is still on the run, but you can bring home a Bat Boy authentic framed reprint t-shirt or bobblehead today. Interesting. Or if you want a real live bat, I got one as a pet right now. Highest bidder you can have it. I thought you got rid of it. Yeah, I did. I drove him all the way down to Niantic. I was going to throw him in the water, but I felt like that was too cruel. So I'm hoping he doesn't find his way back. I dropped him off on the side of the highway, and it took him like a couple minutes to get up and fly away. Dude, why wouldn't you just let him go? Because I wasn't going to kill him. I got a heart. I'm a nice guy. I thought about it, just stomping him when he was on the ground, because he wasn't moving, and I thought I killed him when I threw him in the, the crate. But... Now he flew away, and then I read online that they actually just returned to the spot that you find them anyways, and I was like, good, great. But I think now that I got him out of my house, he can't get in because we redid my roof and everything, so I'm hoping that holds up and he doesn't get get in there because it's scary. You ever had a bat in your house before? Yep, three of them at once. No way. Yeah, we were doing remodeling, and they came in through the chimney. They're just annoying because they scare the crap out of me. Because I, I literally just walk in my house, I put the light on, and they just fly right in my face. What are you so afraid of a flying mi- mouse for? Um, what's it's about a mouse bats? with wings. You're a mouse with wings. How about you shut, shut the hell up? up? Shut up. Uh, Keith. No, they are scared if you're not expecting it, and you're opening up the door, and the thing just flies in your face. They do shit. bite. They do yeah. bite. And they, well, they, they, only they, they, they do carry them. rabies. Yeah. No, they can bite you at any time. Man. Any animal, you, or you 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 corner it, it's going to bite you. Yeah, no, I hit him with the broom. <laughs> hit him with the one, two. He ain't flying in my house, hopefully again. Bigfoot has been located. Yeah, he's between my legs. Um, that was a funny one. Nobody laughed. Thank you. Nah, Thank you. It wasn't funny. I thought it was funny. I'll have Simone remind me next week again to, to laugh at that one. Like the last one. Oh, like the Brunos? I don't remember what it was. Are the, yeah, the Bruins, how you guys lost. And I played the song last week in the bar, and everybody's crying. And oh, every, we every, lost a hockey game. Everybody was ready to kick oh. your ass. You're lucky you made it out of there in one piece. Ain't nobody touched this, man. Can't <laughs> touch this. No, 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 no. Hammer time, baby. So apparently the Wall Street Journal has confirmed that Bigfoot hunters have found Bigfoot in Siberia. Oh. Uh, The Wall Street Journal reported today Russian Bigfoot hunters found evidence of Bigfoot in a cave in a totally (laughs) fokin. In a totally what? (laughs) Fokin. I know what? Looked... At a hair sample and muddy footprints, I found some hair, some real hair, pulling the strands apart. And, and here are even more. Maybe it was a girl. Fulkin says he found evidence that Bigfoot may have been, may have had a girlfriend with him. Whether the girlfriend was human or beast was not clear, but they clearly had fun in the cave. <laughs> oh. I'm still laughing at the name. Fulkin? Fulkin. Fulkin. <laughs> DJ Fulkin. I should have that in my name. We're all going to hell. You're going to hell. I'm not going to hell. I'm already in hell. You're the one ready to sell your soul. Yeah. For love? I'll sell it for love. Hey, Taco Bell giving away free Doritos. The Loco Tacos today. If anybody, what? Today's 18th, right? Uh, Sure. Yeah, get your free taco at Taco Bell. Paid for at TacoBell.com. So is it Doritos or is it tacos? That's whatever you want it to be. Where the hell did you get Doritos out of tacos? The Doritos Locos Tacos. Have you never been to Taco Bell? They have like Doritos shells for tacos. 
Hey, look, mm. New Jersey man is latest American to die in Dominican Republic. Wait, yeah. how's he dying? I think they're up to, what, 12 now? I don't know, and all of them have heart attacks after they drink out of the mini bar, and nobody is saying that the stuff is poison? I don't understand. No, they... they it's at the same hotel. There's two hotels. Supposedly, they figured out that it was uh, imitation alcohol that they had purchased to save money. That it was bootlegged alcohol, and that's what's doing it. But I think it's—I oh, I find it very amazing that it's only killing the Americans. Yeah, it's not killing anybody else. So what are only Americans allergic to this bootleg alcohol? Well, at the same time, though, who goes down there and travels? So a lot more Americans than other people. No, I don't know. Speaking of alcohol. Lansdowne has the firecracker martini. So when you go to Lansdowne, go to the bar, or the firecracker martini. What's in that? I don't know. I don't drink. So who's? Where did you get that from? I know it's got um, pop rocks on the outside of it. It looks really good. Everything they have there, they have some really, really good looking drinks. Yeah. Sarah says, I, DJs. Sarah says I thought someone said pesticides. Um, it could be anything. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's, I don't know, but they're all like mid age too. No, not all of them. There were some younger ones. Was there? Yep. All I saw was like 42 and 49 and up. Also, I think we're only hearing about the Americans because we're in America. Well, yeah, that's Who's true. Who's the smartest on that? Right? The FBI, no, Sarah. The FBI has been investigating, and right now the only deaths are that of Americans. That's probably because every other country is smart enough to not go there. Just what I'm thinking. Yeah. Well, none of these. If you think about it, these people don't love it like us, and any of those countries. Because they all are poor, and then we just go over there and pollute their place, and then they're like our they servants. They're pretty much our servants. I mean, not to sound like a jerk, but when you go to there, they're literally like your servant. And like people say, oh, it's so safe because you're on the resort. But who do you think the resort hires? They hire the local people. Those people watching you spend hundreds of dollars on BS stuff when they're living in a tent. Like, that's and literally the reality did. of it, and they don't even use the money that we bring there for these people. Right, and look they, what they did to their own icon. And apparently, and I just learned this today, this was the second attempt made on David Ortiz's life. Once was here in the United States, and then the latest one down in the Dominican Republic. Yeah, but, man, who cares about him? But I'm just saying, in general, though, like, that's why, how why it is. Why would you be a douche? I'm just saying, who cares about the Red Sox and that guy? Whatever. It's got, got, nothing, got, to, it's got nothing to do with the Red Sox. Yeah, he got shot. He did something that he wasn't supposed to do, and unfortunately, there's consequences. You know he, why he got he, shot, right? He tried to clean up the Dominican Republic. Well, besides that, but I'm and saying, though, you know why he got shot. That's why he got shot, because he was trying to clean up all the riffraff out of the Dominican Republic. No, he got shot because he was, like, hanging out with one of the girlfriends of a mobster over there. Uh, no, that was not true. That was a rumor that was started by some moron. Keith. No, I anyway, regardless of all that, like, that's what I mean, though. Anytime I've ever went to Turks and Caicos, I, that's how I felt. Like, felt pretty bad, but I was having fun at the same time, so it's kind of, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, have you ever been to any of those places before? No. So, you don't, yeah. So, exactly. When I was at Turks and Caicos, their roadkill was dogs. Like, there was just wild dogs everywhere, and there was dogs on the side of the road that got hit by cars, and they're just... Dead on the side of the road, and well, do you like know these people's houses are like shacks with tarps over them. Like that's literally what they live. And then you're driving around in your rental cars. And do you know we're opening a casino down there? Where? Down in the Dominican Republic. What a Mohegan Sun. Mm -hmm. Really? Yep. Wow. Yeah. We are partnering up with Saul Kersner, who um, runs Sun International, who ran the Mohegan Sun for us for the first uh, like two years, three years. And uh, now we're partnering up with him again, and we're going to open a Mohegan Sun in the Dominican Republic. And I can promise you we're not going to have bootlegged alcohol. You sure? No. No, because <laughs> nothing surprises me. Yeah, 
bootleg alcohol, what would that even entail? Just like watered down, or like physically, like trying to in- well, physically like, trying to physically like make it taste like it is, but it's not made from whatever. I mean, it's it's amazing. You look at the stuff that goes. You look at um, like meth. Did a, a drug class the other day, you know, a couple weeks ago with the state police, and um, the stuff that goes into meth. It's amazing that people would would put that crap in their system. I mean, we're talking gasoline, kerosene, uh, <laughs> just household chemicals. Yeah, that's awful. That's insane. So you, you can imagine what they're making bootlegged alcohol from down at the Dominican Republic. Wasn't bootleg alcohol in America called moonshine? Yep. <laughs> yes, but that's the moonshine is it's still being made in the United States and it's actual alcohol. And now you're going back to prohibition and all the bootleggers. Um, totally, totally different. You ever had moonshine? I've had some no. people make them for me. I took a sip of it once. I thought I was going to die. Yeah, it's pretty potent. It is. And, and I mean, they make different flavored moonshine now. But you don't even taste the flavor. It's just like you feel like your insides are on fire. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what is it? It's over 100 proof, right? Wow. Oh, um, I have to let you guys know we had a death in the studio. What? Keith? Alexa passed away. Alexa, no. how did you break her? She just died. Oh, my God. You so, kill everything, man. So we have uh, Hey Google in here. Hey Google. Uh, Suck it. Just say, hey, Google. Sorry, I don't understand. Oh, she's English. You open your mouth. Uh, <laughs> she's bloody English. We got an English Google. <laughs> um, was that Australian over there? No, that was Yeah, that was British. kind of Australian. No, he didn't know. It was British. No, I said I it on British. Say crikey. He, he did it. I, no, Jim does not know how to do. No. So Stop we it. have a Google assistant in here Stop now. It. Oh, by the way, I... Um, was told my beatboxing was on point the other day. And that some, was so long ago. Somebody was really impressed. Who was that? And his boyfriend. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, we had the. Uh, Which little, Anna? Anna. Anna that, that does the, the show Anna, with us. Little Anna, big Anna. Little Anna that does the show with us. That you guys got to do the beatboxing. Car again. broke down. I know. She's stranded, gentlemen. She needs a man to come fix her car. Man, why is this? Look, Toy Story 4 is coming out. Yep. This weekend. Okay. I want to go to the drive-in. Uh-huh. Wish I had some time for that. They're doing uh, Toy Story 4, which I think they got the time wrong. Unless it's 50 minutes long, that makes no sense. But they have Toy Story 4 on one screen and then Aladdin on the same screen. But there's no, let me see. I think they messed up the time on that. Why? That would be like a perfect Sunday. Perfect Sunday. I got a DJ until like 6 o'clock, so I might be able to make that. All right, here's another one. New Jersey man, latest to die in the Dominican Republic. Hey, he's not a middle-aged guy. What was that? Uh, New Jersey man. Oh, yeah. That guy. Uh, How old is he? Let's see. I wonder how many toy. How many do you think they're gonna make after this? What? Yo, Keanu Reeves is in it. In what? Toy Story Four. I honestly have no idea. Uh, what? As long as it keeps going, then. Uh, what? It's a minute, or excuse me, it's an hour and forty minutes. I don't know. That's what I want to do. If anybody's out there and wants to go see Toy Story Four on Sunday night at the drive-in and get some. Tacos La Rosa. Have you ever been out to Willamette before, Jim? Yeah? No? Uh, Maybe some? Uh, Manchester, yeah. Manchester? Willamantic, bro? The Mansfield Drive-In. Yeah. It's he not said Willamantic. Manchester. Oh, Mansfield. It's in Mansfield. And the taco place is in Willamantic, which is down the street. So delicious. I was supposed to get it a couple weeks ago, but I ran out of time. 
and I was so tired and I forgot to even get it. Plus, Aladdin was playing at like 11 o'clock at night on a Sunday. Like, who the hell has time to watch that on a Sunday? People got to work, man. You're not even listening to me. Huh. Hey, did you, did you, you never listen to me. Do you hear about what happened in Philadelphia? Somebody get shot? Uh, a ship showed up and they were offloading their cargo, and uh, 16 tons of cocaine were retrieved. 16 tons. Jesus. So, what? Do they check the bags or like how do they get caught what's going on what well like every port you have drug sniffing dogs and bomb dogs and everything and apparently the dogs alerted to it and uh 16 tons i mean just think about that for a minute tons of cocaine well it makes it sound like the government planted it and then make it made it so that they get credit for it because who that was stupid enough to put 16 tons of cocaine in one place it was worth, and, and exactly, it was worth more than $419 million. That is sick. $419 million. Sick. I keep my cocaine, like, locked up and safe, and, like, I don't I don't know. 16 tons on one ship? Was it like a, it was, you said it was a cargo ship, right? Mm-hmm. And there was all that stuff on there, obviously, right? It was just a bunch of cocaine. I don't know. It didn't say what else was on there. It just said they got the cocaine. I don't know. It makes you wonder if they did that. On Comcast is getting charged with four hundred and forty-five hundred thousand counts of fraud. Comcast. Yep. Why? What did they know? It was uh, a scheme to inflate bills. Um, I'm pretty sure every company does that. Well, it's illegal. So if every company does it, then they'll get caught eventually. Uh, man, it all depends how much they were trying to inflate the uh, the bills and fraudulent charges. Is uh, so they're doing a half a million or a quarter million? How much was it? Oh, I mean, a quarter of a billion or half a million? Who you said that they get charged? Comcast? Yeah, half a million, half a million or half a billion, half a million. Oh, that's not even much money. All you guys are paying that. It's insane that people still have cable. It's mainly just internet now, which is smart that all the cable companies started doing internet. Yeah. Um, I guess it's still people that pay two hundred dollars a month for cable and electric. Does anybody, or excuse me, just for cable? Does anybody spend that much money? Like me, I don't have anything. I don't have cable. I don't have internet. I just use a pizza place next to my house for the free internet. And they know it too. I told them. See you next week, Sarah. I wanted to put an extender out so the service would be better, and he actually let me do it. Oh yeah, isn't that pretty cool? That is pretty cool. And now I get free internet because I'm a cheap some bitch. All right, here is an article from the the New York Post, and this is saying a Mississippi woman who went on a mother daughter trip to the Dominican Republic says she fell ill. And adding insult to injury, was stuck on a miserable return flight filled with passengers, all suffering from the same symptoms. I didn't hear anything you just said. I said a Mississippi woman went on a mother-daughter trip to the Dominican Republic, says she fell ill, and adding insult to injury, was stuck on a miserable return flight filled with passengers, all suffering from the same symptoms. Tracy McGraw of Madison says she wasn't the only one with flu-like symptoms on the plane home last month from her five-day trip to Punta Cana. So... Isn't that another place? I mean, isn't that the same place that we were just talking about? Yeah, Dominican Republic. And she got sick on the plane? No, she was sick before getting on the plane, but everybody on the plane had the same sickness. Huh... I so, wonder what's going on over there. Maybe it, Ebola. No, it's definitely not Ebola. They wouldn't allow him back in the country. They would quarantine him. I don't know. World's getting crazy. Everybody hates America, though. So. Well, apparently, no, it's not just America. Um, did you hear what happened at the Toronto Raptors celebration parade yesterday? Oh, there were some gunshots on that one, wasn't there? Yeah, some idiot opened fire on him. Because about the game, or are they just because they're crazy? Or my guess is just because they're crazy. They shot, I think, four people. Uh, 
I don't know, man. It's interesting how all this plays out. It's well, so it, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. What is the craziest thing you've done, Jim? The craziest thing I've done? Yeah. I was probably drunk, so I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the craziest thing I've done. I'd have to think about that one. Well, what do you got? What? I said... No, I, I was just reading a text to, message. I'd have to think about it. Why? What do you got? <laughs> I don't even know. My girlfriend's listening, so I don't know if I want to tell all the crazy stuff I've done in the past. Um, <laughs> I've done a lot I've of I've done stuff. a lot. But the stuff that... I want to hear you first, Jim, and I'm going to pick a PG one to say. The stuff we did back in the day... Um, it's probably felonies now. <laughs> um, it, it, I mean, it was harmless fun. I, mean, we did, we did stupid stuff like, uh, uh skinny dipping in the reservoir. Um, yeah, that's stupid. It, it's just stupid stuff like that. I mean, nothing, come on, give us something juicy. Something they, like. Something that'll ruin your reputation. What did you do? You did something. I did something. something. So you used to drink? Were you? What? What? What's going on with that? You just gave up drinking? Or didn't work out? No, I used to. I I used to go out drinking. I mean, wasn't a drunk by any means. Didn't have any problem drinking. But after I blew up my back, I got put on medications and um. Couldn't mis- mix the alcohol with the medication they had me on for my back. So okay, so you just decided not to drink anymore. But pretty much, I mean, it was decided for me. But honestly, I don't miss it. I don't miss it at all. Yeah, I don't even do. I I drink once in a while, but I don't even care to drink. It doesn't make any sense. I'm crazy already, and I have a lot of fun without drinking. And usually drinking just ruins my mood. Because if I'm in a happy mood, then I'll be happy. But if I'm in a mad mood, I'll be really mad. And, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. I just don't like it anymore. But the craziest thing I've done, this one is, I mean, it's just funny and crazy. But we were out with my uh, girlfriends at the time. And this dude was talking to one of them. He was like, oh, send me a picture of your tits. Can we say tits? No. Breasts. Give give her. Can we say breasts? We can say breasts. He he. So he texts her. He's like, hey, send me a pr- picture of your breasts. So she showed me and all my friends, and I was like, oh, here. So she took a picture of mine, and we made them look like girls, and send it to him. And he wrote back, oh my god, I liked them so much. They were so hot. <laughs> and I said, thanks, bro. And then we took a picture of me with my shirt off and my face in it. And he like never talked to her after that. And it was like the best moment ever. That is pretty funny. And to clarify, it wasn't my actual girlfriend. It was just one of my friends who's a girl. But, yeah, no, it was pretty epic. It was pretty epic. She was very happy that I did that because he never bothered her again. Um, I think one of the craziest things I did, I don't know about crazy, but it blew up on me. was I was dating three girls from three different towns, and it turned out they all knew each other. That was not good. (laughs) <laughs> so apparently somebody asked uh, AOC to spell orange. And she wanted to know if it was the fruit or the color. What? I'm, so, I'm sorry. Are, are we distracting you? No, but you keep going off topic to bring in lame topics. And I have like a lot of stuff you, in the can to build up for them. But you, now you, you just you, ruined it. You now. absolutely completely just it's ignored what I told you. You said uh, something about, about orange, some lame meme you got going over there. I said, ask to spell orange. She said the fruit or the color. <laughs> yeah, you don't get it. I'll explain I get it, it later. because the fruit is orange and the color is orange and it doesn't spell differently. Wow. I'm he smart. is smarter than he looks. I am smart. I was still on the crazy stories, but never mind. Um, so was I, write? and then I told you, and you just... Yeah, your story your was not crazy, your... and that's why I didn't pay attention to it. But no, you needed something was... juicy, man. Tell us something crazy. That was crazy. The dating three girls from three different towns that ended up all knowing each other? Wait, who you... did that? I did. You just said that? Uh, yeah. No way. You had your ass buried you, on the phone. You dated three girls at once? Yep. You're horrible. 
How can you do that? Like self-consciously? Like how? Like or subconsciously? I was yeah. 17 years old. I didn't have a conscience back then. Uh, you had three. I, uh, one lived in Montville. Come on, Jim. One lived in Groton, and the other one lived in Waterford. And how did you meet them all? Craigslist. Dude, they didn't even have computers back then, let alone Craigslist. So you found them on the corner? <laughs> See, James, unlike, unlike you, I don't have to pay for my women. I didn't pay for my girlfriend. Not now. No, not now. Okay. Boy, can I tell her some stories? Okay. <laughs> okay. Tell her some stories. I want to hear them because I'm... I, what are you talking about? Let me know. Look at that. He's double tracking. He's like, I... I, I, I. <laughs> I want to hear your stories. We're going to believe a three girlfriend guy over there? Come on. So what? Come on. Tell me you never done anything like that when you were a kid? Nope. I never cheated on anybody. Never did anything wrong. You never I did anything wrong. I stole candy and sold candy and sold drugs, all kinds of stuff. But yeah, I never did anything wrong to a person okay. that so, I love. So, all right, all right, wait a minute. That I love. So selling drugs is worse than me have. I mean, better than me having three girls in three different towns. Yeah, marijuana is not even a drug. So yeah. Well, back then it was. Was vote on that? Jim had three girlfriends and I sold marijuana when I was a kid. What's worse? Jocelyn, are you in there? Is Jocelyn on here yet? John, my buddy John's watching. John. John, three girlfriends. Jim John, what is worse, having three girlfriends at the same time or selling drugs? Marijuana. Which I never then, sold anything else worse than marijuana. Okay, which back then was considered a drug. It's not like it is nowadays where it's yeah, pretty much legal. Yeah, but I would never legal. sell hard drugs or any of that stuff. What did John say? Uh, Jocelyn Balistrachi said, disagree. Disagree what? Get it together, Jocelyn. Which one's worse? Having three girlfriends and being a cheating liar, Jim, or selling marijuana. Hey, I, uh, I, was n I wasn't a good person back when I was younger. I was mean. I was, I was angry. I was... Just was not, but I was not a nice guy. Drugs is against the law. Thank you. Oh, who said that? I'm not even going to go with the bag in the dinosaur days, douche. Oh, who said that? John. John, oh. John is just mad because he lost a bet to me. Oh, he called you a douche? No, no but he cited you, though. He just said that he just defended you. He said drugs are worse. Ha! Huh. Come on, and, John. And Jocelyn says you are worse. Me or Jim? You. No. So Breaking the law is a no-no. What? You guys are sick. So you're saying that Jim have three girlfriends is better than me? Wow. Just, well, <laughs> John goes, here we go. <laughs> I'll pray for you guys. That is horrible, man. You know something? I'll tell you what. John John Rainey is a stand-up guy. As soon as the game was over, boom, he handed me my money. Not like Kendrick, who... What's it going on now? Two months? <laughs> what? Yeah. Put your goddamn phone down. Who are we talking about? John who? We're talking about Kendrick. Kendrick? Yeah, he owes me money, man. He's he is, Yeah, we, we've already established that. I said, how long has it been? It's been... One week since you looked, um, <laughs> four months at least. Wow. Four months. That long? Yeah. I know. It's, it's going to be at the it's point like where you don't even, right now. you're going to forget about it. I'm not going to forget about it. He knows what's up. I almost collected this weekend at Margarita's. Oh, why? Is there Sunday there? night? Was I he? I asked him what he was doing. He's like, yo, I'm getting drunk at Margarita's. I said, all right, bro, I'll see you in the parking lot. <laughs> He might not. Oh, look, I got a phone call. Let's see who's calling me. Hello? He really just answered his phone. There are several discrepancies associated with your online business listing that could be affecting where and what people can see online. If your phone's uh, affecting the That's scamming. sound. And you can't pick it up. I got to block that number, man. I got, like, all these random calls. So do you watch The Walking Dead? No, but you ruined the show. How could you ruin that? But I couldn't ruin Endgame. 
I did. Did, did you watch did Endgame you see yet? The, did you watch Endgame yet? Did you see the did very watch? first thing I put on there? Did you watch Endgame yet? No, I get. Uh, did you see the I'm very about to ruin it right now? Can I ruin it? No. Did Can you, I ruin it? No. Did you I see the very first thing I put on Somebody there? Somebody dies. What did I put? Spoiler alert. Do yeah, not read s- if you haven't seen Fear the Walking Dead. I forgot I even started. Did it start up last week or yesterday? Ha, or what? Thank what you. Day? When did it start back? This week or a week before? Well, uh, three weeks ago. Holy Ans- shit. Really? Answering your no. phone on air is worse than dating three girls. I agree. Who said that? I agree. He's going to get fired. Jocelyn. Isn't that Jocelyn? Yep. You guys are sick, man. I'm a loyal guy. So having three girlfriends at once? Oh, my gosh. Just think about all those drinks you have to pay for and all that food. Dude, what drinks? We were 17. I don't know. What were you giving them? You weren't buying them bracelets or nothing? Little Dude, snap-ons? Not buying anything. Wow. You weren't even buying your three girlfriend stuff? Nope. But let me tell you, when I found out that all three of them knew each other and then everything blew up, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure back then, though, it was a lot easier than it would be now. As you seen it on Facebook and stuff. No. And you could get away with it. <laughs> yeah. Until they're like, hey, come meet my family, my best friend, and the best friend's the other girlfriend. I got away with it for like four months. Four months? How did you get caught again? You said that... They knew each other. Yeah, but explain to me how that fits in with you. Uh, well, when one of them had a picture of me and her together... Why did you give out pictures? I didn't give out pictures. Somebody took a picture of of me and Jackie together, and then it just got spread around, and they're like, wait a minute. And then I was like, uh, 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 mm. yeah. So then they saw the picture, and then what? Just, uh, uh, and then they set me up. Noises. No, they didn't. Yep. How did they set you up? Uh, they called me to go over to Jackie's house in Groton, and when I showed up at Jackie's house in Groton, uh, one of the other ones was there, <laughs> and I ended up walking home from Groton to Montville. <laughs> nice. That was a long walk. Well, how did you get to the house? She picked you up? Yeah. So, she picked you up while the other one was sitting there waiting at the house? Yep. That's funny. Yep. They were probably crying and being they're probably really mad. You broke their hearts, Jim. Oh please. We were seventeen. Yeah, you're horrible, man. Oh my all I did God. was sold marijuana. I made people happy, you made people sad. Hmm. Alright, Keith? He's a horrible Stay person. Horrible person. Keith, what's the worst thing you ever did? I think I was dating five girls at once. Yeah, okay. You count your fingers as girls? <laughs> no, I'm telling you. I was dating five like, one, girls two, at once. Three, four. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, whatever. Yeah, we believe you. Wink, okay. wink. I-, I could care less. Oh, yeah, we believe I you. I could care less what you believe. Five girls at a time, yeah, sure. Yeah. Keep on believing in that, that sure. unicorn. That Do you even know five girl cream. names? Name. F- you, list off Jocelyn, five you're probably names. right. What? Jocelyn Melissa will come in here and tell you. those girls were talking to other guys. They just didn't get caught. Oh, are you talking about the three or the five? The three. Uh, they were probably talking to somebody else, too. I don't know. I didn't give them hickeys, so who knows? <laughs> See, if you gave them hickeys, you would have known. You would have known. But then you would have had three hickeys, and then they would have been like, yo, where did they get from? Yeah. Yeah, explain that one. Yup. Yeah. I got a hickey on my neck, actually. A kid asked me yesterday when I was DJing. What that was, I told him I got it from his mom. <laughs> Probably should have said it to an eight-year-old, but he laughed. He laughed. Wow. What? You said that. You really said that to an eight-year-old? No, man. I'm not that bad. Nobody even asked me. I thought it was funny. It was a funny story, though. I went and got pizza after, and the girl's like, you know, you should cover that up. And that's actually where this conversation started with the hickeys. She said, you should cover it up. And I said, why? And she's like, oh, it doesn't look good. And I'm like, you're just selling me pizza, so what looks good? <laughs> you're selling me a slice of pizza, and you're telling me to cover up my neck. That's where the conversation came from, Jim. Yeah, and then I put a status about it and just see how other people feel. And then some people that were in favor of hickeys, some people that were not in favor of hickeys. I don't care either way. 
doesn't really bother me. We don't have a problem at our border, do we? What? So we don't have a problem what at a our nice border. Nice segue over there. Check this out. Build that wall. Oh, my God. You guys are sick. I don't endorse any of this. Look at look at all those people jumping. The, they're, they're going right through the freaking fence. Build the wall. We're just getting political over here now. People, huh? people need to stop standing in the president's way and secure our borders. Look at them coming. They look like a bunch of ants. It's because the camera is so far away. Oh, gosh. Give this guy some power. Well, and now I'm he's j- over here. I'm just seeing it now. Sending videos away. Looks like a bunch of ants going to the wall. That's what, he, <laughs> That's what I just he said. He just said that. It's Look like at them echo all. in here. That's echo, crazy. Echo, echo, echo. <sighs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Yep, but we don't have a problem. Wow. No, we don't have a problem yet. People don't know. I just want to say, I don't have a problem with people coming to the country. I don't have a problem with that at all. Um, but do it legally. Yeah, yeah they don't it's, have, it's insane. Did they say that in Europe, do they have open borders? Or is that like a made-up thing I heard? Uh, no, in Europe you get shot. I don't know, though. I heard that they have open borders that you can just travel. <laughs> no. No, not not even close. Huh. Not even close. <laughs> oh, these memes on here are horrible. What's Look that? Look at that one. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, look at this. Everybody's post up swimsuit pictures on a rainy day. I wish it was summer out. I wish it was nice. Why is it got to rain? The uh, next stat is going to be, why are you guys commenting how good I look? It's so disrespectful. <laughs> Jocelyn says she Facebook. agrees too. About what? She just agrees on everything? That's all. We don't even know what these people are saying. Don't the break the law. Absolutely. It's. Are we still to, oh, we're talking about. We're talking about the border. The border. I thought you guys were talking about me breaking the law. You smell that burning? I was going to say, did he blow out a candle again? It's his freaking birthday every week. Wait, when was your birthday, Keith? <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sitting in here, I don't care. Talking that. Oh, I almost swore a bunch of times. Now nah, I ain't feeling it anymore. Keith smells like poo. You a jigaboo. You smell like a shoe. Fart. I almost swore a bunch of times, so I, was, I had to stop that. Oh, we got a ding. We got a ding. We got a swipe right for Keith on Tinder. Oh, you know what? <laughs> you know Speaking what? of which. Call up Felicia. Speaking of which. Hold on. It's Felicia. Half hour Felicia time. My my cousin. She's on a dating site? Has released a fart video that he would like everybody to take a look at. Oh, um, so it's have, not even a girl. I am going to have a... Uh, I'm going to have a, a, a CD for you um, with his music on it. His music is... For me? Oh, yeah. It's what fame. kind of music does he do? Is he a rapper? Yep. No, he is not. Yeah. He, Your brother? My cousin. Your cousin? My cousin. Your mother's cousin? And here we go. Mother? That's Old Dirty Bastard. So, for those of you that are listening, you cannot see his video. That's him right there. And um, I can't see the video either. I believe. Yeah, see, nobody can see the video. Okay, here we go. There you go. Now, they now you can see the video. As we wait for Felicia, Keith, tell, him to tell her to tune in. To go. Tell her to call. I can't help it that she's not paying attention. Representing the Mohegan people. And um, like I said, I will give you a copy of his CD. It is... Uh, it's really good. He emailed me his songs, and um, he went to the Native American Music Awards. Nice. And, uh, and Is he dancing on a hatchet? Yeah. That's awesome. He's got his traditional Native American. What's his rapper's name? What's his name? Mohix. Mohix. 
Ah, Felicia can't tune in. She's got some business to attend. Some business to attend. So describe Mohique's, what's going on in the Mohique's is actually watching right now. This, I believe, is in New York. And you see several other Native American tribes in their traditional regalia who are uh, dancing while he is performing. What made him want to rap? Um, I, honestly, I don't know, but he, very, very talented, very talented. Okay. You show a video me right there. Raptastic. Tap, tap, tick. And, um, that was, uh, Grand out Slam. outstanding video. And, uh, like I said, I believe it was in New York. So... Uh, it's called Travis. See what he's got going on today. Uh, Jimmy, good blood pressure is um, Keith. Anywhere from 110 to 140 tops over 70 to anything under 90. So if it's 140 plus or 90 plus, that's usually in the not so good uh, blood pressure range. And uh, is he seeking medical medical advice from you right now? Yep. Nice. A, a lot of people do. No, I meant like on the show. Yeah. Why don't we do like a medical hour? A medical hour. Like, uh, don't smoke cigarettes because they're bad for you. Who smokes cigarettes? That's bad. Smoking cigarettes is horrible. That's what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying team member huh so next week at the uh at the casino it's gonna be pretty uh pretty slamming you're not there next week right what do you mean for uh bear jackson why am i not gonna be there i don't know i was under the impression we have no entertainment that week because they come in and they watch the uh really? they watch the the auction on tv Really? Yep. I know uh, Friday and Saturday night we have no music. Mm. And um, interesting. It is extremely busy from open to close. Okay. So yeah, I didn't know that. I'll have to I check in with them on yeah, Thursday to check. see to see what's going on with that. Maybe I'll go buy some cars. Maybe I'll throw some money down. There you go. Yeah, I got like a hundred grand. I can buy a car with, right? They go for like a hundred grand. Wow. Oh, they, yeah, above and below. Yeah. A lot of nice okay. cars. So yeah, if you're in the area of the Mohegan okay. Sun next week, Barrett Jackson car auction going on. Um, you can see anything from classic cars to futuristic cars. It's uh, back to the future. They got a little bit of everything, and um, it's going to be the. F- First year or second year in the uh, the new Expo Center, and also culminating with that will be the grand opening of Game On. Game On is located in the winter area, and it is going to be over near the Expo Center, eight lane bowling alley, arcade games, pool, darts, uh, ping pong, great food. And uh, it's going to be worth checking out after you come to Lansdowne. Right? No, of course. Of, co- <laughs> of course. Man, Game On is going to be pretty tight. I'm excited for it. Yeah, it should be I really know good. Um, they got a good team going on over there, right? So Alan is going to be the GM. Yep. And Alan, I heard Billy was going down there. Yep. Alan's going to, uh, he's going to be the general manager. And uh, Billy Cody is going to be one of the managers. Uh, Hancock from. Avalon's going to be another manager, and uh, it's a great team they put together. Yeah. And, um, no, it sounds like they got a little bit from every place to go over there. So, Alan has uh, Alan's put his heart, soul, blood, tears, sweat into that place, and uh, it is going to be absolutely incredible. I I'm so happy for Alan. He's uh, he's wanted this and he's deserved it, and uh, it it should be really good. Great place. Yeah. 
No, I heard he did a good job over there. I'm excited to go see some sneak peeks, so. I'm, um, you know, just saying, just throwing that out there. Man, there's cool. Just throwing out there, Jim. I mean, you know, nobody invited me over there and kind of feel left out. It's not open yet. Like Simone, you're watching. You know, I feel left it's out. It's not open Billy, yet. Randy, I want those mozzarella sticks. Oh, here Buffalo, we go. M- Buffalo Thursday. You know, Alan, Carlos, Heather, it's making me feel left out. I just want to go see it. Want to see right now. Tonight. Let's go there tonight, Jim. I'm working tonight. We'll break in there, take pictures. Oh, you mean game on? Yeah. Though I'm sure Todd and them will be over there getting the place game ready on. for next week's opening. Game on. I guess there's a show at game the on. casino tonight. Um, Who's playing? I'm not, I'm not too yes, sure that. yes, in Asia. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, somebody just posted out that they got free tickets. It's kind of weird that it's on a Tuesday night. Yeah, it's also kind of weird that I have no clue who the hell they are, and they're playing on Mohegan Sun. Right? I, I don't get that's, it. You are a crazy. DJ, but yet you don't know half of the bands who the hell that is, come in. Who the hell? Yeah, because none of these people are on my radar. <sighs> they're not at my level. I'm up here. They're down here. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They're touring the country. And I'm in my room. <laughs> yeah, my living room. Yep. I get more pleasure in my living room. Just throwing uh, that out there. God, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> but, yeah, yes, in Asia, or at the casino tonight. And um, is this the week of, um, oh, my God, yeah, I think it is. The big country show on Thursday and Friday. What um? What's that? I'm trying to think of his name. Oh my God! I'm having like a brain fart. Uh, Toby Keith. Uh, Toby Keith is coming. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. I I, I think Toby Keith is here this uh, weekend. Hey, you know he might stop by. Hold on, let me look. I'll see if he's on the schedule. Mohique says thanks for showing and supporting his music. Rock on, fellas. Hey, anytime, cuz. Um, hopefully we can get more of your stuff out. And uh, wait, who's your cousin? Just I know I saw the video, but what's his name? His tribal names uh, tribal name is Mohiks. Ah, uh, okay. I thought you said Malik for a second because I know Malik. That no, sings. not Malik. Um, very very talented. The the music he puts together, you can really really feel that he put his heart and soul into it, and um, honoring his ancestors, and it's it's really good music. Yeah, you have to send me it. And uh, Toby Keith is coming on July 4th, just so you know. July 4th? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's right, because that's... Uh, America. That's the same week as um, the Wednesday before they have the Ultimate that's 80s mixtape concert. Yeah, I should be DJing that. Just throwing that out there. Why would you DJ it? They're live bands. I'm just saying, in between these places, they got they got DJs in between sets. Just saying, Mogi and Son, you gotta step your game up. <sighs> <laughs> Let's see, entertainment <laughs> arena. Let's see, who do we got this week? Because about time the computer actually works. Right. I got a thirty minutes later, Keith. Got to give Keith uh, a, a, his props on. I the, was joking. His, the his new computer still slow, but no, he actually upgraded though. We're able to show videos to you guys, so it's, that's pretty awesome. Keith, are you still in here? No. We appreciate you for real though. You, you did a good th- job. Actually, he does. Th- he spends his own money for this you show. You can thank Melissa for the new computer that does the video now. Nice. But see, Keith actually, just give him a quick shout out. He actually uh, makes this whole thing happen. He has yes, his whole he radio station. He does it for free, man. He does it out of the kindness of his heart. And he loves doing this stuff. Right, Keith? Like, this is your life. You love radio? Oh, yeah, yeah. And he does a good job. If you follow him on so, Facebook, he's always trying to keep, uh, you know, up to date and everything. So, good job, Keith. Thank you. I'd say you're my hero, but then I'd be lying. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Schedule of events in the arena. My neck is hurting, man. Ugh. I'll have to get another massage soon. See, that was an opening for anybody. Yo, Ozzy Osbourne, well, postponed. He was coming on Saturday. It got postponed? Yeah. Ozzy's not coming no more. Wow. 
Um, nothing in the arena for Friday. We got a Sun Connecticut Suns game on Friday. I mean, yeah, I mean nothing on Thursday is what I meant to say. Nothing on Thursday, huh? No, you know what I want. Saturday is gonna suck. Saturday is no Ozzy Osbourne. No, if there's nothing going on on Saturday, it means yo Sublime is coming. Lionel Richie's coming. All right, I don't know any of these other people. They come and uh, nope. Oh, Brian Adams, Billy Idol. That's oh, Google dolls. Chris Tucker's coming. All right, actually, let's go to the Wolf Den now. Wolf Den calendar. Some girl named Melissa's hitting me up in my DMs, yo. Dun dun dun. Oh, Keith's going to find out why she's hitting me up. <laughs> wow, Daryl Whitaker uh, from Glenwood Springs, California, claims that a Sasquatch, Sasquatch attacked him and attempted to rape him while he was walking in the woods. I bet that's true. 57-year-old man was walking to his hunting cabin on Sunday to see if he had suffered any damage during the winter. All of a sudden, a large gorilla-like creature dropped from a tree in front of him and punched him in the face. It was at least eight feet tall, and its punches hurt like hell. I was knocked right out at the first blow. While Mr. Whitaker was trying to recover from the attack, the large humanoid creature began to tear his clothes while letting out some terrifying howls. When I regained consciousness, he had already torn my pants and was tearing through my underwear. I stabbed him in the shoulder with my hunting knife, and that made him run away. Mr. Whitaker immediately reported the attack to both the Glenwood Springs Police Department and the Colorado Parks and Wildlife Agency, and a joint investigation has been launched. Wow. That's real news. Yep. Damn Sasquatch. Real news. All right. So what we got going on? Thursday's Tyler Rich. He's going to be at the Wolf Den. And he'll probably be at Lansdowne after. Tyler Rich. So if you like Tyler Um, Rich, Jocelyn says your second girlfriend. (laughs) Um, Friday night is otherwise. There's not much going on. I don't know any of these people. No, it's, and the the whole thing with Ozzy Osbourne canceling his tour, or at least this portion of it, it, it means that there's nothing to fill the arena. So that means that, that Saturday night, unless you come out to see Wicked Peach, I'm telling you, come see Wicked Peach at Lansdowne. Uh, it's always a good show. These guys, they, they do a hell of a job. And it's free. 10 to 1, free. That's pretty I, wicked. I can't emphasize the word free. No cover. Never a cover at free. Land Zone. Never. And it even says on the sign, no cover. Never. And people still say, oh, what's the cover? It makes One you of these days, I'm going to charge them a cover. Why don't you charge them for karaoke night? I told you I'd split that with you. You yeah. get 20, I'd get 80. That's fair for me. Yeah, not going to happen. Well, I'm the talent, Jim. You're just the door guy. You're the talent? I'm the talent. You're the door guy. You put the song up and they uh, sing it. Yeah. It's, it takes a lot of work to do it. <laughs> a lot of work. I wouldn't call it. it talent. 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 You're like an engineer. To the A. To the L-E-N-T, James. And then you try singing and we lose half of our customers. And it's like, why is he doing that? Yeah, right. They love me. All the girls be like, ah! No, they're screaming. Stop right. it. Yep, that's exactly what they're yelling. <laughs> oh, she's. Get away from me. Shut up, Keith. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's why Keith Now, we just... got the best show in the house. I am actually better than a lot of people out there, to be honest. I mean, you are a very good DJ. I yes, am, you are. I'm a pretty good. I should be doing some other things. You, you do a good so job at be. karaoke. Yeah, no, but we. The sky is coming. This guy's coming. What? <laughs> Just letting you know. Okay. Just letting you know. Okay. This guy is coming. Hey, uh, this, this past weekend, uh, Wu Tang Clan. Wu Tang. Uh, nothing. To b- they came up to the uh, to Avalon. Well, Method Man and somebody else. They were supposed to go down to Novell. Mm, and, they went to uh, both places. Apparently, they didn't. Uh, I saw a video of them at the other place too. Did you? Yeah. They didn't stay very long. Because I didn't know how that worked. They all ended up at Avalon. 
Yeah. And then um, that would have been sick. I should have came out for that, but I was. Well, one of the one of the guys went down to Novell, just you know, peek in, see how many people were in there. Not many people. No. Not many people. Well, I mean, you got. Well, actually, figure. Method Man was DJing there though. For a. Let me look it up. For a regular table. At Novell, it's two thousand dollars. Holy shit! For a VIP table, it's four thousand dollars. Why are people paying this money? What do they get? It's, they get to sit behind a red little thing right, that I what get. You, what you got to realize, and what a lot oh, of people have to realize, sick. is this is not another Avalon. This is a high roller, Vista type club. They have like twice the amount of table games in there as Vista does. It's they're they're incredibly even more anal on their dress code anal. than Vista or Avalon. It's they're trying to keep a certain clientele in there, and by these prices. I mean, so what is it? Pretty much a nightclub for like high rollers. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. And then that's going to attract all the low people. Let's see. They're going to get turned away. Oh, why would they? Uh. And like next week is the the grand grand opening of it, and uh, they got Luda have, Chris uh, comes. Chloe Kardashian's going to be there. Uh, so Serena or whoever um, is performing in the arena is going to be in there. Um, I can't remember the other person. Uh, jo- Juice World is coming. Juice World. They're what? doing a lot of stuff on Thursdays. The bastards. Cassidy. The red carpet event, right? Dude, Chloe Kardashian doesn't even look like that. What? <laughs> Whatever. Have you seen her lately? We should put up comparisons of her. She was like you, fat and chunky. You can go and pay now your four thousand. You can go pay your four thousand dollars and go in and see her. What do you get for table though? Like, what is what? How does that work? Right. I've never did the VIP. Well, I've always got free VIP, but like, that doesn't even make me feel special. Like, I've sat in the DJ booth. I don't know why people want to pay. I never understood that, man. Never. Two thousand dollars for a table? For a regular table, four thousand oh. dollars for VIP. That's making me sick. I heard some other things. I'll talk to you off air about this place, but that's insane. Yeah, um, insane. I will go out on a limb and mention right now that it was run by the individual that used to run Scorpion Bar and Shrine, and uh, I'll leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> That makes sense. I will leave it at that. And um, it's the same company that owns it, or is just a no, guy no, who no, came in because no. it's directly owned by Mohegan. Is what I thought. Yeah, like Mohegan Sun actually owns it, and yep. it's not a third party. No, but the person that is running it used to run Shrine and Scorpion Bar. The music aspect of it, or the actual guy. I think I know who you're talking about. We'll talk about that after. Yeah, no. I think that's it for us, though, right? I mean, we ain't got nothing else to talk about. We haven't for the but past you know, two hours. you to get out of here? Yeah, I am, actually. Well, where are you got to go? I have no clue where I'm going. My friend, he wants to go to Willimantic, get some food. It sounds so good right now, but I shouldn't be eating the food. But I want it so bad. Yeah, I'm not going to go. So to I might Willow. drive up there and get those sure tamales. Sure as hell, I'm not going to go to Willimantic to get food. Tamales. Mm. Tamales. Yeah, do you know where we can get some good tamales at a local? <sighs> Saltoro? No. I'm not going up there. I don't like Mohegan Sun, man. I go there to party, to DJ. I don't even party. I just go there to DJ. That's it. That's it, man. I drink my free water. <laughs> Did you see that post I put? I was like, when you have a, when you have an open tab, you drink the best. And I just, I just literally drink water when I can pretty much have any kind of alcohol I wanted. Yeah, you take all my water. Yeah. Yeah. Cases of water. Mm-hmm. Then I guess I can. I guess I can spare to give you one or two. Yeah, it's healthy, man. I'm trying to stay healthy, stay clean. Oh, it is. It is healthy. It's good. It's premium too. <laughs> Could be it's premium. You know what? It's premium water. Keep it up, and you could end up working at Foxwoods. I am. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's it for us here. Jim, do a little talk out. I'm about to get some tam- tamales. Good. You can leave. Bye. See ya. Peace. Next week, we will have a new co-host. Yes. No, Keith, we're not done yet. Oh. <laughs> Keith, wait, not, you got something to say? 
Yeah, my co-host is a pain in the ass. Come on, say something, bro. I just did. I said my co-host bro. is a pain in the ass. Yo, no baggy shoes, no baggy clothes. Where? Fashionable sneakers, okay. Oh, they let you wear sneakers at Novell? Yeah, they have to be fashionable. Uh, what? Well, what is a fashionable sneaker? Two hundred dollars. Jordans, so, not Jordans, probably like okay, I was just gonna say, expensive it, Nikes. Is a brand new pair of Jordans considered fashionable? Or it's actually probably for women only, to be honest. That's a way for them because women have fashionable shoes or sneakers. They have like the little coach ones and stuff. But I don't think. Right. Guys, well, what does the ex- what does the exact dress code say? Dress to impress, upscale, casual dress encouraged, no authentic wear, no hood rat. I mean, no. <laughs> no I meant this. <laughs> I didn't mean to say hood rats. Oh, so what? You're the one who call that guy hood rat, or no? You call him a. B- what did you call him? A boomer a blaster. Ghetto blaster. A what? Ghetto, ghetto, blaster. ghetto blaster. All right. So no, no, no. What were Do-rags. you trying to say? Do rags. I don't know why I said hood rags. Do rags. Okay. And I'm guessing no hats oh, either. Yeah. No boots. <laughs> no baggy clothing. Oh my God. See this? Is what happens when you cut the show off? <sighs> so basically, it's pretty much the same as the other two clubs. Yeah. If you want to go, just dress out for a night on town. No jeans. No, you're not going to get into any place with pants hanging off your ass. Yeah. Um, Unless you're the DJ like me, and then I'll do whatever I want. Yeah. There's no dress code for DJs, if you haven't noticed that. Yeah, there is. No. There is. A nope. There is. I'm going to reel my do-rag next week. <sighs> okay. On that note, <laughs> we are out of here. Yeah. Hopefully I see everybody at Ocean Beach this week or Lansdowne Pub. What's going on at Ocean Beach? Is that the... Uh, Ocean Beach Poker Day starting okay, yeah, tomorrow yeah. and running through Saturday. Are you and your parents doing that? Is that no. something that you're involved with? Oh, okay. Nope. Nope. It is the largest music festival on the East Coast. And it's a good time. Polka. And then I will be at Lansdowne Pub tonight through Saturday night. So stop in. Have a good time. Take a picture. Eat some of Randy's ex- incredible food. It is really good. Hopefully tomorrow night we'll have some mozzarella, buffalo mozzarella sticks. Thursday. Tomorrow. Not Wednesday. Thursday. Tomorrow. Thursday, Randy. Tomorrow. All right. So until next week. Everybody have a great time and uh, take care of each other. See ya.